day 33. Remember that we um, took a hoe and kind of got the grass out from around these fruit trees. So now I'm just going to kind of loosen up the dirt. I'm going to spread these um, seeds out, the flower seeds, and cover them with a little bit of potting soil. And these seeds um, will grow some flowers that are just known to naturally keep bugs away from fruit trees. So we'll see if this works. So we've got the ground all loosened up and we're just going to sprinkle the seeds right on top because we're going to cover them with some potting soil and then um, water them in and we'll need to water them every day for a little while. There are the little seeds. And there we're going to just, like I said, sprinkle them in, try to spread them out. Um, if they come up a little bit too close together, you can always pluck them and move them around. So, now we're going to open our, my favorite potting soil and sprinkle that over top of the seeds. I'm going to get my gloves back on so my hands don't get too messy. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to show you some of the cherries that are starting to grow on here. It's kind of hard to see. Just regular cheap potting soil. Make sure there's no grass in there so that my flower seeds don't get drowned out a little bit. It's also, because it's dark, it kind of it looks like mulch. It's kind of a woody um, potting soil. Like I said, it's just real inexpensive. I get it at the dollar store. And it's two dollars and fifty cents a bag. So that way I can use it everywhere that I want to go. So there's one tree done. Now remember there's the tree line where we put all of the wood shavings from the tree company. There's our peach tree, and actually it got cold again. Not, not didn't frost, but it went from super hot to super cold, and we did lose the majority, if not all, of our peaches. But the cherry trees are still good. So here I've watered this in. Um, let's get a better look at some of these cherries. There's one. There's one. They're yellow. So that's how all of those end up looking. I think it turned out really good and we will check in on our strawberries and plant some tomatoes and cantaloupe tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.